NASA announced Tuesday that its DART missing, which plowed a spacecraft into a small asteroid 6.8 million miles from Earth, was a smashing success, after data shows the space rock's orbit was shifted by the impact. The planetary defense test, conducted on September 26, aimed to see if we could nudge the path of a massive asteroid heading straight for our planet. This successful mission marks, humanity's first time purposely changing the motion of a celestial object and the first full-scale demonstration of asteroid deflection technology, NASA shared in the Tuesday announcement. Before the impact, Dimorphos took 11 hours and 55 minutes to circle its parent asteroid, Didymos, and now its orbit is shortened by 32 minutes. The initial goal was to shave off at least 10 minutes high-speed spacecraft into the path of an approaching near-Earth object. NASA turned on the live stream and shared the event with the world. As the craft propelled itself autonomously for the mission's final four hours like a self-guided missile, DART launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket last November, which was called NASA's Armageddon moment, and when it reached thousands of miles away. Its imager started to beam down the very first pictures of Dimorphos, before slamming into its surface. The space probe used what is called kinetic impact, which involves sending one or more large. NASA said it would take weeks for the world to collect data on Dimorphos and its twin that were the targeted asteroid orbits, and the time has finally come. Laurie Blaze, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division at NASA headquarters in Washington, said in a statement, This result is one important step toward understanding the full effect of DART's impact with its target asteroid. As new data comes in each day, astronomers will be able to better assess whether and how a mission like DART could be used in the future to help protect Earth from a collision with an asteroid if we ever discover one headed our way. Neither of the asteroids poised any threat to Earth, which is why they were chosen for this epic mission. The investigation team is still collecting data on the twin space rocks through ground-based observatories around the world. Along with radar facilities at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratories Goldstone Planetary Radar in California and the National Science Foundation's Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia. And because they are receiving constant updates, the world could hear more news in the near future. The team is also analyzing the tons of asteroidal rock that broke off the asteroid and launched into space. Scientists had believed that the impact carved out a crater and hurled streams of rocks and dirt into space, which has been captured in several images by the orbiting satellite called Lisha Cube. The toaster-sized craft separated from DART a few weeks prior to impact and made a close pass of the site to capture images of the collision and the ejector, the pulverized rock thrown off by impact.